So today I'm going to show you how to very easily decorate some wooden eggs for springtime. So a lot of craft stores are selling the wooden eggs. I actually got these last year on clearance after Easter, but I did notice that they are selling them again. And um, I just picked them up because they were on clearance and I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do with them. And then I thought to myself, well, they're so pretty just the way they are. And a lot of uh, decorations now are kind of natural. Um, so I decided to just pull out some of my scrap ribbons and fabrics that I have um, using the natural colors, browns, golds, lacy type. Um, so basically all you need is just some scrap ribbon that you have, or if you don't, go to the store and just pick up a couple of different varieties of lace and gold ribbons, some tacky glue, uh, fabric scissors and your eggs and that's all you really need to do to make these crafts um, so I'm not going to go into to detail too much but I'm just going to point out some of the differences and show you I will demonstrate again how to get these bows that I make so pretty there's two different ways you can do that um, using wired ribbon is nice for the top this is just a simple bow that's been glued on uh, just make sure that your ribbon isn't too wide. It's nice to get um, ribbon that is is narrower because you're going around the egg. If it's too wide, it's going to be bunchy. So make sure you stick with smaller ones. This is three different ribbons. I had a lace for the bottom, and then I used a brown satin ribbon, and then I used a gold ribbon on top. So um, it's nice to layer them. This one was this ribbon. And then on top of it, I did a tool ribbon. And then on top of that, I did a gold ribbon. So I thought that those turned out really nice. Um, so to get a bow like this or this or this, there's two different techniques that you can do. The one technique is to um, take your ribbon and I'll show you with this small gold if you want like a small one and you take a fork and you pretty much start on the one side and in the middle just wrap it and weave it through and you want to do it for however many times that you want a bow so for this one it was three on each side so that's two so that's thir third and third. So once you've weaved it through your fork, you're going to have three on one side, three on the other, and two ends. Then all you do is take another piece of ribbon up through the center of your fork, and you're going to tie that into a knot. And then once you've tied your knot in the back, then you just pull it off and you have yourself a really pretty bow. And then all you wanna do is just trim off your ends so that you don't see them. And there you have a pretty bow. So you're gonna do the same technique with your satin ribbon and doing it, I do it with my hand. So basically you start here and you go above your thumb, above your finger, above your thumb, above your finger until you get as many loops as you want on each side. And then you're gonna wrap this string around and tie it. Now the thing with the satin is you'll notice you have a shiny side and a not shiny side. So when you do it, when you wrap it around your thumb, give it a twist and make sure you keep the satiny side up. So when you come around again, give it a twist. And then when you come around, twist. So each time you come up, give it a twist so that you have your satiny side always facing up. Then that's how you'll come up with a bow like this. So that's pretty much the technique of doing the the real fancy bows on top. This one had two loops on each side. This one had three loops. This is another one that has three loops. 
And then all you want to do is um, figure out what you want to start with. So if you um, take your ribbon and then you want to just run your glue around it and then attach your first layer of ribbon. Okay, so you want to just run your tacky glue around and then take your first layer of ribbon and wrap it around the egg. And I don't even trim it until I get to the other side. So that way I'm not wasting any ribbon. And then you just want to cut your ribbon off. And then just push it together. Now you don't even have to let this dry. I do between layers, like this is very tacky, but I do like to add just a little bit more glue before I add my next ribbon, just to make sure that I have enough on here, but you don't have to add like a tremendous amount because it's already coming through, especially if it's a lace. If it's a solid ribbon, it won't come through, but the lace, the glue will come through. So then you wanna add your, and I start at the seam, so I always keep my seam in the back. So just be aware of that as you're adding your layers always start and end in the same spot. That way you'll have a back to your egg. So no one will see the seam. So for this one, I'm gonna use the ribbon that I just used and I'm gonna glue it down the sides and I'm gonna add an extra piece of ribbon going opposite. So I'm gonna glue this part down first and then glue the ribbon part down. So this is how this one came out um, looking like. So just um, try different techniques, try different um, ways of putting the ribbon on, but it's very simple to do um, with just a little tacky glue and some ribbon scraps. So hopefully you enjoy doing this craft. I think it's a really cute, natural, kind of decoration for springtime. If this is your first time watching, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification or posts, hit the bell. And if you liked our video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.